David to the... <laughs> well, let's just let's cut go. that off because what the... <laughs> three starports? Three? Okay, Maru, you're just trolling three now. Three starports on two cats. This on his natural. This doesn't yeah. make any sense. That's got... Is that a mistake? What are you going to produce that you can produce out of... I'm not even entirely sure if Vikings. Okay, now he decides to go for it. I'd be very Surely surprised you... if he mixes in a bunch of Vikings at this point, but... You need the gas first. Maru, what, are you drunk, bro? What is this? We're about to learn something amazing. Or? He's going or full something. sky toss. Oh, Three tech labs? That's... He's gonna go triple BC. The barracks aren't producing. If Solar looks at that and realizes, then he should know what's going on. Three port Banshee is ridiculous. Hmm, Solar okay. didn't notice, I don't think. I don't see no. any sign of him him noticing that the barracks weren't producing. If he knew right now, he'd probably be uh, flying in the Overlord to confirm, or at the very least, yeah, he, that's the main tell, right? Maru with, with his god tier micro, or macro rather, he should be able to produce out of those barracks at all times. He went for a cheeky little move out, but I guess we're just playing Mass Banshee in this particular series. Um, He's gonna swap into mech for sure, right? Like the barracks are definitely a fake and it's just heavier on the air. So like there should be more factories coming down next, I would imagine, and going into a similar style to the last game, but like more air focused and just with a handful of ground mech units. Um, Solar doesn't have a Roach Horn. He's going Evo Chambers. His lair is so late that he can't make an Overseer to scout. He could go Spire here. Okay, there's the Fusion Core on the back of it, wow. too. If he throws up a, a Spire right away, I think Solar is going to be all right. But we'll have to see what sort of tech route he decides to go for here. The lair does finish. It's straight Baneling speed. I mean, all of this is a clear indicator that Solar thinks he's playing against a Marine-based army, right? But he's playing against yeah. the polar opposite of what he has scouted so far. Now, here's the Overseer scout, though. Is he going to spot the triple starport? Oh, please go up. Please go up. I mean, he's got to. He's going, surely. Oh, he's oh, Banshees. Oh, there you go. Yep. He sees the Banshees, three Starports and a Fusion Core almost finished. <laughs> Hydroden was already almost finished. So Hydras are actually a good stopgap. Wait, did he just cancel his Hydroden? Uh, yeah, okay, he, I guess he canceled the Hydroden for a Spire. He's got enough Queens, I guess. That Spire is going to get sniped. Though. That's a really bad Spire placement. He needs to build a lot more Spores, get his Queens in position. And uh, I'm hoping he doesn't regret canceling that because Solar right now realizes I mean, he's got to be a bit offended that Maru's trying something so ballsy versus him. The Queens are not there. The Spy is exposed. And oh, no. Uh, okay, it. There like, you go. It kind of looks like a uh, Spore Crawler, but in the end, well, it does get canceled. And that is super annoying. Now, Triple BC on the production tab. It's still going to be about a minute until they're done, but this is already so much damage. In the meantime, oh. no, Solar immediately with the counterattack dealing a lot of damage at the third. Paling's coming in as well where are the hellions oh my gosh it looks like most of the hellions got surrounded and taken out the ling bane counter attack is brutal maru is doing a very kind of creative build there it's very out there creative and out there builds not something you normally see from the top of the line players because they hedge their bets but maru is just throwing the kitchen sink at solar and solar's having none of it shuts down the third uh could even breach the natural wall if he wants to commit to it even more the battle cruisers kill that. have to yeah. take out the spire oh no he, he built it in the that. same spot yeah he literally put it down underneath the vision of the bench he's a second time so he's gonna be able to take out that spire before it finishes a second spire or i guess i should say third spire starts up right now for some but these structures take a very long time to build again i mean in a very exposed location maru doesn't see it just yet but he still has triple orbital i mean he probably wants to drop mules at this point but if he figures out where that next spire is located too he's gonna be able to take care of that easy peasy and queens alone are gonna have a really hard time defending against battle cruisers yeah one battle cruiser gets out of there already about three queens have gone down mass queen production is on the way though and solar is doing a good job of defending as much as the spires getting sniped stops him from shutting this down like this would be game over if the spires were finishing right yeah. Because Corruptors counter everything Maru has, but he's still got Ling Runbys in there. The Queens have stopped any economic damage going down. Solar has eight gases. He's got four bases. He can make 15, 20 Corruptors the moment the Spy is done. And you know what Maru's follow-up is? It's more Hellions and Battle Cruisers. In this situation, Maru needs to tech switch into something like Widow Mines on the ground to deal with both Ling Bane and Corruptors. Maybe get a Thor or two out. Something to help it. support. But he's he too late. It. It. He sends it to the natural once again. He wants to take out that spire right now, and he is gonna try his very best. That being said, though, <laughs> the queens are gonna be targeted here by the Yamato cannons. And in the end, it looks like there are going to be corruptors coming up. That is the most expensive set of corruptors I've seen in quite a few games, but 
It's most important right here for Solar that they do finish up. And these counterattacks, man, these counterattacks are brutal. Honestly, that's what yeah. kept Solar in the previous game, too. He's doing a great job with it once again in this one. Maru is playing very tricky uh, mass Banshee mech builds. I've always felt that you can just go speed Banshee off one star port and it's infinitely better than these two or three port Banshee builds. <laughs> yeah, you're um, right. <laughs> I, I really feel like like it's just more solid, whereas Maru's kind of going for the, like, I gotta surprise you and do catastrophic damage, and Solar's so good at defending, and they've had patterns like this before in the past where Solar, if you mess up on the aggression, he will punish you. Look at that, the Corruptors come in. They are the hard counter to the battle cruiser. Even with the mass repair, the Corruptors are just going right through them. I mean, that is it. Maru has to tap out. And this time around, we have a much more conventional start right here for Maru. Going for the triple CC that you were talking about already. This is his uh, his bread and butter. This is what made him good, right, over the years. This is what he is incredibly strong at. And uh, this is what Solar has probably been predicting to play against as well most of the time. Now, my question is, if this was like a, a dark playing, he would certainly go for something a little bit more aggressive right now, right? Is Solar yeah. gonna go for a, a push himself? Or is he once again just gonna defend? Okay, there's the third factory coming up, man. Maybe Maru has been watching some of the Euthermal videos. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna try some of these crazy build orders as well and see if they work. But I mean, if Solar defends as well as he does in this, well, series so far, like he did previously, he should be okay. The main trick here, right, is that Maru is gonna suddenly catch him off guard and Solar needs to be prepared. Happen. But uh, Maru's just gonna basically, yeah, hold down the Hellion Cyclone key while exploding his economy. And he's gonna look to expand at a rapid rate behind it. Once again, swarming the Zerg player. Solar's opening though has been completely untouched. Look at that worker difference. Already up yep. 20 workers. Solar is playing a very good series. Maybe uh, Maru could only make a certain amount of starports in this particular series and he's exhausted the amount he was allowed. He decides to go for mass Hellion Cyclone here. Now it wasn't spotted, but what Solar did see was the third command center flying on over and at that point still continue his Hellion production. That is a little bit funky. You're not supposed to be seeing Hellions anymore at that point in the game, especially if they're not really used to deny your creep. Like what exactly is going on here in this game? So we have Roaches this time around and I think Roaches are an amazing choice. But you do have to be very careful. The creep spread, though, is so nice, right? I mean, I would like to see it one step further. Well, Maru disagrees. He wants to see it one step further back. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, uh, oh, oh, that's a lot of Hellions. Three Cyclones as well. The Transfusers are only going to keep you alive for so long. The Queen's trying to pull back. And remember, this is the window pre-Roach Speed, which I was talking about, where the Cyclones can run rampant. Oh, my Lord, this is a crazy push for Maru. The Magfield's so early. Solar's got a lot of Roaches in production. They're not all here just yet, though. The Alien's doing a great job of tanking. The Cyclones are oh. chewing through these Roaches. Wow, what a timing. Sure, Link run by is going to be massive, though. The Lings are getting a lot of damage. Yeah, those, those counterattacks from Solar have been absolutely lethal. I mean, I like this trade right here for Maru at the front, but reinforcement will probably clean this up eventually, especially when Glyo finishes up. But Solar killing a bunch of SCVs, disrupting some of that mining, it's honestly incredibly well executed. That is also obviously splitting the attention from Maru a little bit, who would like to focus on just that aggression at the front. Now Glyo Reconstitution is gonna finish up and fighting on creep is basically impossible now. Roach speed, such an important upgrade. And I like the way that he's already split Roaches ready to do a, a backstab. Uh, dealing with Cyclone Hellion is all about backstabbing or sandwiching the army from behind. Comes in from the right side, catches Maru off guard, and goodbye to two of those Cyclones. Almost gets a third one, chasing the army off to the left side. Indeed, three go? Cyclones do go down. Really nice play. Yep, he has to run past the Roaches because the army's coming from the left side. Yeah, reinforcing units from Solar running down towards this same area of the map as well. Obviously, there's no siege tanks or anything along those lines to fall back to either. So Maru can't keep running forever. He uh, he needs to be very careful. He doesn't just die to a mass road Ravager push. And that's exactly what Solar decides to go for here. He's looking at this. He's like, yo, you can back up to your natural, but I can. Yeah, if, from there on out, I can just go to your third. Remember the weakness of this build. There's no starport. There's no Banshee. And you don't even have siege tanks. You've got nothing to anchor you when the Zerg does get a, an army advantage. There's no way to turn that around. This whole style relies on you having more than your opponent from start to finish. And Maru trying to get a little experimental with a mech style. I'm sure he won all of his practice games in the last week. Felt really confident with this. 
but he brings it into the tournament and Sol is like, no way, man. You know I'm the slayer of Gumiho. He tries to play mech against me every time we play. I always slap it down. You should know better than to try this versus me. Yeah, uh, or sorry, 64 drones, 72 SCVs at this point. Income advantage slightly in favor right here of the Zerg, but I don't absolutely love it. He needs to be careful he doesn't throw away too many units right here into all of these Terran armies. Oh no, the Roach is hugging those Cyclones and so many going down. The SCVs do barely dodge those Biles and get back. Very well done for Maru to hang on. Maru has made miraculous comebacks in the past. He's very capable of it. Plus one range only now starting. The Infestors aren't here just yet. And this Roach Ravager, he's got to be careful about over committing. A lot of those Roaches got torn down by the Magfield. On the other hand, Maru's losing depots. He is supply blocked right now. Now, fourth base on the right side taking damage as well. Siege tanks starting to get in the mix. A couple of Banshees would have been a complete game changer, but mm. that was the build Maru went for. He cut that corner. He said, faster Cyclones and Hellions. Let's see what we can do. And Solar showed that, yeah, a lot of Zerg units get taken down, but once Roach Speed kicks in, you've got Roaches that are way cheaper than Cyclones. You can just overwhelm. Okay, here we go again. Solar with a tech wave number 74. At least that's what it feels like. Constantly, though, as soon as he pushes in, those SCVs are running. And I do really like that move from Maru. Yes, he loses a lot of mining time, but it also allows him an opportunity to, well, not lose all of those workers in the process. Because he's still at 74 of them. That's actually pretty good. Income-wise, Maru should be feeling a lot better. But the question is, can he hold against this big attack? Oh, Infestor's coming in as well. Watch out for the Fungals. One of them lands on three Cyclones on the left side. The tank's starting to do some damage, but it is such a wide arc of Zerg units, limiting the splash damage that the area of effect from those tanks can actually deal. The Rocha Ravager overwhelming. Wow. And Solar looking fantastic. They call him the next slayer.